Today we're going to find some free topographic maps and download them for an upcoming project in QGIS. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a break from the PyQGIS. I haven't had time to come up with more tutorials for that yet, so I apologize. Um, we're going to get some free data here for an upcoming QGIS tutorial, and I'll get back on the PyQGIS when I have a little more time. So let's find some USGS topographic maps. So I'm going to type in, I'm just going to search for download USGS topo maps, which I already uh, have here. And so what I want to do is I want to come down to this map locator at the USGS store. And don't worry, you don't have to buy anything, even though it says store. You have to buy the hard copies of the maps if you want a hard copy mailed to you. Um, but if you just want to get a topographic map, a PDF version, it is free. So I'm just going to come over and I'm just going to zoom in. And this is going to put me in Kansas. All right. So I'm going to double click on an area here. And I'm going to click View Products. And this will give me um, all these different map products. And so you have a lot of different options here. I mean, you can see the scale, and you can see these names here. This one's really old, 1894. I'm just going to take a look at this. Let's see what it looks like. So I can click View PDF, and it's just going to have me save it. So I'm going to save it uh, as download there. And then I can open this up, and it will open up here in Chrome. It should open up. This might take a second. Here we go. OK. And so here is my old map. Uh, you can see it has corner coordinates on here that I can use to geo-reference it if I want to. And we'll do that here in QGIS. We'll use these corner coordinates to geo-reference a map. Um, can scroll down, and I should have some information down at the bottom of the map here. So this was surveyed in 1888. Contour interval of 50 feet. Um, it usually gives you something. Uh, I don't see it here. Somewhere on here, so here's a datum is mean sea level. There should be a um, coordinate system or datum this was collected in so that we can reproduce it. Um, it's not super important right now. So that's an old map, so if you want to get an old map and geo-reference it, you have that here. Let's find a newer version. So 1 to 24, so we want to look for something that's like 1 to 24,000. So that's a new one. I wonder if they have one. Those are all 1800s. I wonder if they have one. Oh, here we go. So here's kind of the original 1 to 24,000 map. And here's another one there. So let's take a look at this. This is probably the USGS map you're used to looking at. So let's go ahead and open this one. And you can see that I'm saving all these for free. It doesn't take anything to save. You can get all these maps you want for free. Um, and then you can go in and geo-reference the specific ones you want. So I'm going to just zoom in here to show you what we have. Um, so it has a lot of information about the map here. It tells you when it was field checked. Um, and revised aerial photos. And so this is in the NAD uh, 1927, the 1927 North American datum. And it also has hash marks for the NAD 1983. I'll show you what that means here. So what I'm saying is these corners here are uh, geo-referenced to, oops, excuse me, to NAD 27. So these coordinates here refer to the corner, which is NAD 27. If you want in NAD 83, this tick mark here is what those coordinates correspond to in NAD 83. So anyway, so there are your USGS maps. Um, you can see you can download those for any area you want. Just go to it on the map, double click on it, um, and you can get it. So if I want to go to a different area, we'll just zoom out here. And uh, sure, somewhere in Colorado, let's just double click in this area and view products. And here's a 2016 map, so we can just click uh, view that PDF. It will download it, and once that's downloaded, it should be cleared pretty quick here. Then we can open it up, and 
and there we have it. So you can see that the newer maps have a little different symbology. Um, these come from the national map. But you can see, just like the other ones, they have the trails on there, um, and they have all that stuff. So you can get a lot of different maps here. Um, pretty much any map the USGS has, you can download from that store website. Um, so there you go. And we will go ahead, we'll use these maps uh, a little later in a future tutorial. I'll go into QGIS and show you how you can geo-reference these so they actually show up or they should on Earth. And you can use them for analysis or digitized features um, or things like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And like I said, we'll get back to the Pi QGIS and QGIS tutorials here shortly. Uh, I've had a couple of busy weeks and probably a couple more coming up, but I'll try and keep posting at least one video a week uh, related to GIS or computer programming. Uh, thanks for watching along. Hope you have a great day.